What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is my second time of doing the audio for this game, play and commentary that I wanted to do. In the first instance I got about two minutes into it and um, promptly announced that I was going to throw up and then what preceded was probably me on the toilet throwing my absolute guts up to the point where I actually pooped myself uh, um, because of the force of throwing up. No, it's because I've had some weird viral bug which was coming out of both ends. It smelt like murder in my toilet. It smelt like the devil himself was trying to escape out of my asshole and my mouth at the same time. So it wasn't a very pretty thing. So I have been poorly. So this has been a little while in the making to make this uh, Black Ops 4 commentary. So I am slightly late on this topic, if you like, but it's one that everybody is, is talking about. And I do feel like I have to prefix this with, I'm still enjoying the game. It's still a lot of fun for me. It's the most fun that I've had with the COD for a very, very long time. Now, however, that doesn't mean that there aren't some slight imperfections with the game. And I think the biggest one at the moment is the whole 20 hertz tick rate scandal that seems to be going on. Now, everybody knows that in the beta, we got it at 60 hertz. So for the uneducated, which is probably me as well, because I'm like, well, what difference does that make? It's to do with the refresh rate, the, the amount of time that it takes to send messages to and from servers. It'll be why sometimes it feels like you could be getting absolutely drilled on, you manage to turn on somebody and kill them, or the other way around, you fill a whole clip into somebody and they just turn around and one burst you and you're dead. Now, it feels like we've all kind of been done up a, a kipper on this one and the thing I think that I find most annoying about the whole scenario itself is I've mentioned it a couple of times in my gameplay there has been so many times where I've emptied an entire clip into somebody only to have them turn around and just completely destroy me and they seem to have a magic number of health left and it's a constant that happens and it's happened to me like I said on so many occasions and that magic number is two. I don't know if anybody else has seen it or experienced it, but that is what generally appears to happen with me. And it seems to be the biggest thing. And I think a lot of it to do with is, is the multiplayer. Originally, when the beta came out, it was done at 60 hertz. The, I think, blackout, it wasn't done at 60. It was done at about 40 hertz. But I think that's because more than 80 players in a lobby and just 60 hertz was just an impossibility for them to be able to do. Now... The biggest issue that we all have with Call of Duty, and we've mentioned it before, is that it runs on an engine that is not compatible with just what is capable today. I mean, apart from those people that still use the blessed, you know, Tesco dongle Wi-Fi, or that they steal McDonald's Wi-Fi to be able to play online and everything, is, is by the by. Plenty of us now have decent internet, and by decent internet, I mean, I don't know, for argument's sake, you've got between 10 and 50 meg up and down and you've got maybe a 25 ping or a 30 ping to me is an all right type of internet there's people that have got the god style internet i mean i've got virgin internet so i get like 200 down and about 60 up and my ping is around about 5 or 10 so i've got very very good internet now the problem is is that the engine that this game uses it can't cope with people that have that good or internet but also as well because the engine's so old it can't cope with all of the movements, all of the eccentricities within the game to be able to do it at a 60 hertz rate. It just doesn't have the capability to be able to do that. And one has to ask the question, 500 million supposedly on opening day weekend, how can you not afford to invest in new servers? Your your game is on a three three year cycle. Within that time, you should be, well, I mean, mind you, do we blame Activision for that one? I'm, I'm not 100% certain who we're actually supposed to blame for that one. But the one thing that I can say is it's just you do feel cheated. You do feel robbed. It means that you, the game isn't playing to the best of your abilities. And we all know you're playing an online shooter. It's 70% skill, 30% connection, I hazard to say, unless you're somebody in the realms of, like, scump or somebody who by the way i watched play a game of blackout and he started and finished that game and won it in 11 minutes the guy is just unreal he's just absolutely unreal i've been watching his streams it's been really good to watch his streams actually he's been quite interesting but there's that whole hurts thing just feels like we're being treated uh, being cheated um quite drastically and it's not a good thing it doesn't make me enjoy the game any less i still really enjoy it it's still really really good fun 
Um, my other issue is the snipers. The snipers are just dumb in this game. The flinch headshot thing is absolute crap. I've seen a couple of videos that Thunder's done. We all know that Thunder likes to <laughs> rag on snipers a little bit, with good reason. But just watching Thunder where he's been shot basically in the left nut and it's a one-shot kill where there's certain snipers that are like chest and above a one-shot kills, but quite clearly where the bullet's actually going isn't right, and that's where the kill's getting in. I think something's slightly different with the hitboxes for snipers. I'm not sure. I think I've, I've, I remember seeing something about it somewhere. I don't know. I'm not 100% certain. I could be wrong with that, but I've heard somebody say that. I don't know if that's, that's correct or not. It's just one of those really, really daft things that just, like I said, that just winds you up. I still enjoy the game. I'm still having fun. I can't play the normal modes where it's 5v5 because it's just far too sweaty. Um, Chaos is generally the only place that you can really play now anyways, just purely because of the fact that... Uh, just for me, it's the only place that I can play. I can't play the 5v5 because it just it gets far, 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 far too sweaty. Um, mercenary game list, um, we need you, is all I'm going to say. Just for those people that like to play casual that don't always party up with mates and everything and all of that kind of stuff but just gives them a bit more of um an advantage and not always having to worry about having to replenish you know your sodium level um and your glucose levels uh, for the amount that you've actually lost um and having to take a pre you know pre-workout before you start playing the game um mixed in with some adderall and some gamma lab so you can have the ultimate focus whilst playing because for me that's not what online gaming is all about it's about having some fun and not just I still don't understand how people are like master prestige already that doesn't make any sense to me I mean do you do you do you, do you know what sunlight looks like <laughs> that's the only unless you're doing it for race two I, I guess but I like coming up against people with diamond camos already and you're just like that how how have you done that how I mean I've not even got to my first prestige yet I will do but I've not got there yet and it's just like how how have you managed that how is that possible that you've managed to do that and I don't know. It's Maybe it's because I'm getting old. Maybe it's because I'm slightly older than what I used to be years ago and it's just not something that I'm that I'm able to, to comprehend sitting down and doing anymore. I don't know. Fair play to you if you've grinded the game out that much. But, you know, go outside and have some fresh air or something to that effect. That's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to give my sort of 10 pence on the... 60 hertz fiasco phenomenon nom nom thing that's that's kind of going on and you know this gameplay in the background hasn't been anything particularly brilliant it's been me trying to do kill confirmed i don't think my teammates were particularly good in this game which will be uh borne out um quite shortly uh using uh profit in this one oddly enough i had, had quite a lot of fun with it it was um apart from me only being able to kill one person with it but like I said, I still enjoy the game. It's still fun. There's not much else I can say about it, really. It's it's enjoyable. And this is what I mean about my teammates, by the way. Objective play and all of that. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, click the like button. If you're new, subscribe. We are here. Peace.